Hello guys and welcome back in this requested video. This is an old request but uh, it's actually four days ago. Uh, but I have to do it now because uh, I have I have I have a little bit of free time now and I will make it. All right, so this is a special request from his, this guy. His name is Charlie Anderson, and he wants a 7.4 liter, or uh, you know, in American sizes, uh, 454 big block Chevy. He wants it to be modified, and all right, so it's okay. I like big blocks. They are legendary known engines for muscle cars and you know be making big horsepower so let's start with the official specs before we start tune it it's a 90 degrees 8 cylinder but he wants it to be a magnesium it's okay so the official bore and stroke is 108 108 millimeter for the bore and 100 millimeter for the stroke this is the official Chevrolet uh, bore and stroke by, by from Wikipedia. All right, so let's start with it, then, and get back to the. Now I'm getting back to the requested video. He wants it to be a modified version, but I'm not gonna put it in the car right now. I'm just gonna make the engine because uh, I have just a little bit of free time. Right. So it's a 90 degree magnesium engine and. Right, V8 second, he wants 7.4 liter more bore than stroke, of course, this is the official one. Uh, third, he wants it to be a push rod, push rod 2 valved, or double overhead camshaft. Well, if you want this engine to be original, I suggest it to keep it in the push rod version. If I, if I want to put it uh, as a dual overhead camshaft, it will be super super powerful but we can make super with super power we're using push rods only all right so let's go with push rods to make it original aluminium silicon and let's see what else do you use you want he wants a the valve extremely high okay the cam profile because all right brace engine no vvt no vvl all right so Let's make it a billet steel titanium lightweight forged. I'm not sure that if he wants it to be plus 15 or something, so let's keep it in the plus 5. See if it will work. He wants it to be the highest, the highest uh, compression as possible. All right, let's put it on 10 for a start. This is a racing engine, so 100, no variable valve timing, plus 5 again naturally aspirated and I think he wants it to be carbureted let me check it uh... oh so he wants it six a turbo oh he wants it to be a turbocharged engine all right my bad then ball bearing large performance and plus five again all right so this is the no VVT, no VVL, highest compression ratio, turbocharger. Yes, because of course there aren't any screw superchargers here. Modified for maximum power and torque. Do not need to care about MPG. All right, seven carburetor, four barrel, twin carburetors. Okay, so he wants it to be carbureted. All right, carbureted, turbocharged, carbureted. Okay, and. Configuration racing including racing intake or sport intake. All right, it's because there, there's no racing intake here uh, Let's say 100 octane fuel 13 maybe 13 decreased ignition timing. I Don't know maybe it's maybe 7,000 I'm, I'm gonna aim for 8,000 but hope it's making I hope it can make it Right, plus five again. He wants bypass valves. Why? Who needs these? Dual. He wants it to be four inches. I'm not sure that four inches is enough, but let's see. Of course, highway three four and Non second that that's that's his request so plus five as you can see then the valves are floating 
right because they are crappy and we need to make to make them plus 15 quality then the fuel system cannot cope with the current level of boost reducing liability try lowering the boost pressure okay so this these carburetors can only take 10 psi that's new 600, really 600 horse, but this is crap. Well, as you can see, pushing more fuel in. Well, but before pushing further, let me adjust the turbochargers first, because I'm not sure that they are making you know the maximum horsepower. All right. As you can see, the power peak only at 7,500 because we are using what we call an, uh, the push rod system. I'm gonna push everything to plus 10 except the oh, yes. I was wondering about why the four inches is not enough, but it's actually enough because we are using push rods. If we were using uh, like dual overhead camshaft. It, it wouldn't be enough, but it's okay. So these are the... Alright, so 8,000 then. Let's, let's push it. So 920, 900 and... 922. No need for second muffler. Actually, he wants a second muffler, so yes. So this is it. It's a turbocharged uh, dual four barrels push rod V8. I mean, it looks authentic, it looks classic, but for me, these push rods are, uh, they are not really working well. Because before, there used to be an option here which called modern overhead valve, which means modern push rods. These are classic push rods, which they are crap. They are shitty ones, they don't work well, and they are, you need the high quality ones. But they used to be here, a modern overhead valve. I wish they could, that they could... Uh, make it return to the game, the developers can get it back because we need it in some engines. In this one in particular, I will not use the push rods, even if they are looking good, I'm gonna use dual overhead camshafts. Look at the difference. 922, 1000 horsepower with, with only two valves, I, I did not use four or five. Look, look at the difference. Wow. Look at the difference between 2 and 4. Look at the torque. 40 pound feet. Wow, look at that. The 5 valves. And now the power can go up to 8000 because more airflow. Amazing. Look at it. Putting the camshaft only on 95. Perfect. No variable valve timing. That's what he wants. Now we can push these bad boys to the 15. I, I know this is not a production engine, don't worry, don't eat my face in the comment section and say this is this engine will take too long. I know it will take too long. As you can see, this is my point. 4 inches will only make uh, 1113 37 horsepower. 4.2 look more, as you can see. 4.5, 4, 4, 8, 5 inches. As you can see, 5 inches make more horsepower. And now, let's... If I were using, if I was using direct injection, I would push this engine more and more. But since we are using carburetors, 
we, we should not worry about it. So more fuel, more ignition. One thousand one hundred and eighty-nine horsepower. Two hundred, two hundred and eight. All right, let me push it a little bit more. Down with the ignition timing and more with the AR ratio. That's enough. A little bit lower here. More compressor size. More AR ratio. Alright, it's okay. As you can see, 1262 horsepower. Alright, I'm gonna increase the fuel a little bit, making it richer a little bit. But this way, we can increase the horsepower. I want 1300. Come on, give me the 300. Come on. Oh, come on, man, give me the 300. I want 300. All oh, right, I forgot about the, uh, the RPM. So, yes, now 1300 horsepower. That's better. 1316 horsepower and now it looks like a beast I mean dual overhead camshaft they should be running on uh, EFI or DFI but carburetors are just legendary legendary even with turbos look listen to that beast dancing I'm really impressed I'm really really impressed with this beast using twin four barrel carburetors dual overhead camshaft five valves per cylinder twin turbos running on 10 psi only uh, large air-to-air -air intercooler humongous exhaust system five inches a single uh, straight throw mufflers Bypass, uh, by, by, what, the, what the hell they call them? Bypass valves, yes, for the exhaust to make it quieter at the low RPM and screaming loud at high RPM. Look at that air filter, classic and looking actually cute and yummy. I like it. I like this air box. Look at the look at the clamps. I clamp it here and here and then on the back, I think, and on the top, and it will come right out. I like it. Classic and cool. And look at these beast carburetors on, on the top. And this, this wee unique inter uh, intake manifold. And look at that distributor in the back. Looking absolutely amazing. Magnesium block, aluminium silicon cylinder heads, and billet steel crankshaft, titanium connecting rods, lightweight uh, forged pistons. Amazing. So thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Charlie Charlie Anderson. Yes, thank you, Mr. Uh, so much. And this is your 7.4 liter big block V8. It, it's Chevy. It's a Chevy for big block, so it's okay. And let's call it turbocharged. 
turbocharged on 100 octane so this is your engine mr charlie and i will and i will stuck it in a car soon just you have to forgive me because uh, i don't really have so, so much time you know because of work and university and everything uh, so yes so thank you very much mr charlie for this unique opp opportunity and for this unique request to make a turbocharged carbureted beast and remember this is a 1316 horsepower engine with using dual four carburetors for bare carburetors amazing i know don't don't look here the engineering time this is not a production engine this is a you know a one-time shot i like it so thank you so much again if you like this video guys remember to hit that like button and to consider subscribing if you are not a subscriber and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and i will see you in another video soon and bye bye